Okay, I'm basically just going to show uh, what I would do first before I even bring my machine is I uh, put batteries in the sun. I'm using two quarters. Works better than a screwdriver. Uh, batteries are C and they go with the post side down. I've already got two in there. So next I like to check my son before I install it. Here I'm turning on the Digitrack system. It should come to a home screen here. There's the home screen. Now basically it shows a clock face, the pitch, the strength of the signal, the temperature, the battery life of the batteries in this receiver. This over here is the indicator for the center point of the sawn. So right now we can test a couple things just to make sure we're uh, on lined up. First of all, I can verify that this is at 12 o'clock and it's at 6 o'clock. And that's done with this little groove on the sawn. has that little channel. Now I'm going to take this sawn. We know it's working. It's like brand new. Uh, and I'm going to load it in this drill head, which drill head has a curve to it. And by aligning the curve with the clock face, you can steer it very accurately. This piece here has a, a lip on each side and a safety bolt that keeps it from coming out. Here's a safety bolt. It's a 5 16 Allen hex screw. Of course, if uh, we were real serious, I might even put some blue uh, thread locker on that puppy. Not red, but blue. Because you want to take it out. I like to take this all apart every day and clean it. I didn't clean this one well enough last time. But uh, basically clean it down with water and then I even like to squirt a little WD-40 on it to keep it fresh. Okay. Here again, we're at 6 o'clock. And 12 o'clock. Looks like we're lined up. Okay. 